Many times I've heard people say, I have faith in God. I have faith that this or that will happen. I believe that God will do this for me. Faith talk is very easy, but it is hard to demonstrate this faith. When people say, I have faith, it is mostly usually words without action. We say, I believe that God will provide for me, and then we go and worry about tomorrow. I believe that I'm healed, but then we continue to doubt the healing power of Jesus. We say, I have faith in God, that this is going to be my day, my week, my year. But when things don't work out, even for a moment, we begin to worry. We get anxious and tensed up. Is that really faith? In Hebrews 11.1, 1, the Bible defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. It also says in James 2.26, As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. This means that when faith is not accompanied by actions, it is empty. It cannot bear any fruits. It cannot get us where we want to be, and neither can it give us the things that we ask God of. Faith alone is not sufficient. It must be accompanied by actions that are in line with it. If you believe that this is going to be your year, then don't doubt it. Don't give up when things are not working. Do not beat yourself up when you fail once. When you say that, I have faith that God will take care of me today, don't be anxious about anything that comes your way. Sure, you might find yourself in situations that make you worried, but how do you respond to that? At that moment, is God still your protector or what comes to mind? When we choose to trust in God and God alone, it means that we are not shaken by anything because we have the assurance of the things we cannot see. Now, don't confuse faith with hope. Hope is when we pray and wish for rain, but faith is carrying an umbrella. Hope is simply wishful thinking. Yes, you are hoping that it rains, but are you carrying your umbrella? That is a corresponding act that you should accompany the faith that you have in God, because only actions can prove or disprove your faith. With hope you wish, but with faith you believe. A lot of us think we have faith in God, while all we have is hope. And the way you can tell the difference is the presence or absence of actions. Faith comes alive only when we act on it. Otherwise, it is dead. A keen study of the Gospels shows us how Jesus emphasizes the importance of having faith as well as acting consistently to what we believe in. In Luke 5.24, Jesus told the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. A miracle that required an act of faith, which we also see in Matthew 12.13, when he says to the man with the withered hand, stretch out your hand. As seen in John 4, 49-50, a royal official came to Jesus seeking for the healing of his child, for he was close to death. Jesus told him, Go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and started off. Walking away with the belief that his son would live was an act of faith, and because of his faith, his son got well. In John 9, a man born blind came to Jesus. He told Jesus that he wanted to see. He had faith that Jesus would make him well. But Jesus made him put action into his faith by telling him to go, wash in the pool of Siloam. The man did just that, and his sight was restored. The woman in Luke 8.43-48 had been bleeding for 12 years, non-stop. She had faith that Jesus had the power to stop the bleeding and heal her. She had no doubt whatsoever. In an act of belief, she went ahead and touched the hem of Jesus' garment and got healed. The impact of her faith made it so that Jesus felt the power go out of him. He said, Who touched me? Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out for me. By that act of faith in Jesus' power, the woman was healed. Jesus even told her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Actions unlock the living and working powers of faith. If Peter only believed he could walk on water and never set his feet on the water, his faith would remain just that, dormant faith. But stepping on the water made his faith come alive. Actions are the fundamentals of faith. And not just any actions, corresponding actions. If we have faith inside of us but do not express it through our deeds and words, all we have is wishful thinking. The things we do, the words we say, the thoughts we have, all are carriers of something. 
Some depict strength and self-belief. Some carry a lot of power. Some are fearful and produce a lot of stress. They either show faith or doubt. When it comes to faith, we cannot claim to have it if our actions show otherwise. Abraham is called the father of faith because he believed beyond any doubt. Not even a single cell in his body doubted the things that God said to him. His actions and words were a depiction of unwavering faith. Remember when Abraham went up Mount Moriah to sacrifice his only son, whom he had waited for decades? Abraham must have been deeply convinced in his heart that the Lord would provide. And he went a step deeper in faith by climbing the mountain when he had no idea what he would sacrifice, apart from his son. He told Isaac that the Lord would provide, and his words were true proof of the faith that he had in God. But it is the action of going up the mountain that made Abraham's faith come alive. I don't think there is any other man in the Bible that was blessed as much as Abraham as a result of faith. Now, you cannot have Abraham's blessing if you have Thomas's doubt. If you believe, show that you believe. Let your word show how much faith you have. Let your actions speak for you. Do not just tell people about your faith. Let them see it. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Make it a habit to read the Bible. It not only strengthens your spiritual life, but it also feeds your faith. It makes you a better believer. It teaches you to exercise your faith by putting it into action, to make it productive, as laid out in James 2.26. James 1.22 urges us to not only be hearers, but also doers of the word, by not only being a believer, but also an action taker. Do not just say that you have faith, show that you have faith. Faith is doing the things that gear you toward the desired end. Even in tough situations, faith calls for thanksgiving to God, not because it happened, but because you believe that it will happen. Faith is being cheerful when all around you have reasons to be sad, because you believe that even though sorrow may tarry through the night, joy comes in the morning. God has given us faith as a gift of the Holy Spirit, His desire for you and I to put our faith into use. The way to activate the faith that He has already given us is by exercising it. Dare yourself. Dare to ask God of the impossible, even though it seems foolish to others or your reasoning. Just do it. Believe and act like you do, without a doubt in mind that it will come to pass. Faith doesn't work by the visible. It is internal. But what we do externally is what shows how much faith we have. Faith is for future things. So do not worry if it looks like right now you have nothing close to what you wanted. Believe in God and believe like you have received it already. Jesus says in John 14, 12 through 14, Very truly I tell you, Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. By faith, you can move a fig tree and plant it in the seas. You can move mountains. Faith is believing that you can, and productive faith is when you tell it, Move and be planted in the seas, without a doubt in your mind that it will be so. Romans 10.9 encourages us to believe in our hearts and confess with our mouths. Having faith is not enough. Believing in your heart is insufficient. God doesn't want us to doubt His power. When you exercise your faith, you please God. For the Bible says in Hebrews 11.6 that without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith is believing and doing very simple actions that show that we believe, like rising up and walking even when doctors said you can't, stretching out your hand when it hasn't for years, touching the hem of Jesus' garment, washing yourself in a pool, going back home enthusiastically because you know in your heart that whoever was ill has been healed. These may not be similar to your situation, but it is the general idea of what I want you to understand. If it is a financial breakthrough that you have been praying for, believe that he has an answer and act like it. When you think about money, do not think about how you have so little, but start researching on investment ideas. Think of where you want to build your home, even if you can barely pay your rent right now. Think of the car you want to buy, even with cents in your bank account. Faith doesn't work until it is put into action. It is like a seed. 
It needs the right conditions to germinate into a seeding that will eventually grow into a big tree. Until these conditions are met, it remains dormant. Plant your faith in the soil of action. Water it by confessing and acting like your prayers have been answered. Kill the weeds by reading the Word of God. Prune its branches by thanking God in advance because your miracle is already there. Do all these things and see what kind of tree your faith bears. Faith with actions will move mountains in your life.